Let me explain things real quick. <laughs> let, me, let me tell you how it's done on this channel. <laughs> tell you how it goes. Okay. You ain't in Scarf Demon anymore, Dorothy. Toto. Whichever character I like to misquote things. One of to- them. Toto's talking in this version, telling Dorothy. <laughs> I would watch that. It's so exciting because I want to do a club with you for for like forever. And now you're in England. And I'm on your <laughs> side of the planet. How did that happen? Like as soon as Ellen was like, I know this cool person and you should be friends. I was like, that's nice, Ellen. But she lives in America. <laughs> I've got like a solid amount of my standard red and black stripes. Got elbow rim in case I want to just do chicken impressions. <laughs> Are you right-handed or left-handed? I'm right-handed. Well, this is going to be fun. <laughs> we'll just go like this. <laughs> Okay, guys, hi. Uh, this is my glorious friend, Chloe Scarf Demon. Hello. She's cool. And I've been like wanting to collab with her for, for like forever. So we have special clipboards just for her. We're on her brand today. So what is the game that you had proposed earlier while we were getting frozen yogurt? <laughs> we did do that. So this is a game that me and my colleagues often play at work because we're super professional. But basically, one person has to pick a random object like a boat or a cat, and they have to describe it to the other person without using any specific like shape names or words and the other person has to try and draw it and then guess what it is they're drawing. It's not easy <laughs> as it sounds. Particularly because I asked you guys to submit subjects for us to draw and you pick some really weird things and I love that about you guys. Not NASA. Do you want to start? <laughs> I can be NASA if I want to. These are quite abstract. I don't know. Yeah, they pick, <laughs> see they pick some really weird things. It's beautiful. It's like perfect for this kind of game uh, but also going to make it really, really difficult. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. I'll start with the Sharpie. In the middle of your page, (laughs) draw a circle. And then on the top of the circle, draw two triangles, one on the left, one on the right. Resting on top of the points of the triangle, draw a horizontal thin rectangle. (laughs) (laughs) Okay, now on top of the center of the thin rectangle, draw a portrait, no, a, a vertical, I guess wider rectangle. I'd say about a quarter of the way up the wider rectangle, just draw a straight line across it. Okay, I think I know what you mean. Okay, and now in the big circle, the first one you drew, on the upper third of the circle on the right hand side, draw a circle, a small circle. And now inside the two triangles, draw two smaller triangles. And I think you should be done. What? I'm doing like the most simple version of it possible because it's quite a lengthy description. <laughs> I feel like that, that can't be all of it. <laughs> okay, okay. Next to the circle inside the circle. Wait, circle inside a circle? Because you said triangle inside a triangle. I said triangle inside a triangle and then I said a circle inside the big circle. There's like the big circle that you started with. That's what I needed you to do. What? Okay. <laughs> Have you just added another circle? Inside of that circle. I wish you hadn't. <laughs> It's ruined now. It's ruined. Okay, well, next to those now concentric circles towards the left hand side, just draw a dot. In between those, the circle and the dot, but lower down on a separate latitude, draw an upside down triangle. And now underneath the upside down triangle, draw a sideways three. The W. Also known as a W. (laughs) Okay. (laughs) Show me what you got, Echo. Oh my god! What was it? A cat wearing a top hat and a monocle. Okay, cool. So that that works. It works. It works. <laughs> Yay! The system <laughs> works. Victory. And you should also sign it as like <laughs> the director. That is really involved. Your signature compared to mine. Like yours is so you. It looks like a, a mess. <laughs> <laughs> so now I'm gonna go through the Twitter feed and see what I can find. Hmm. <laughs> Riveting I'm trying to think of how to how to describe this one and not make it phallic, but I don't think that's <laughs> gonna work. Oh, okay, here we go. This okay. one this one will work. Start with a square and then a square under that but connected to it that is about a third of the size. Okay. Okay, so on the sides of the big box. Okay. You're gonna draw some very small, tall, thin rectangles connected to it tall thin but not bigger than the big box we're just gonna call it the main box <laughs> <laughs> the main square okay don't make them bigger than i the didn't want to i didn't want to screw this up on purpose but you're gonna think that i am because there's no way that this is right and then draw just a teeny box on the top center of the the main box mm-hmm. that's just like small and then sticking out of that box just draw a straight line like a tiny one with an itty bitty circle at the top okay if, how do i want to describe this is it phallic? <laughs> no, this one's not phallic. 
I'm gonna divide it into quadrants. Upper left and upper right quadrants, just draw two circles. Like a, a circle, one circle in each. Two circles total. One in <laughs> Okay, okay, yep, yep, I've got the correct number of circles. In the very center of the box, put a triangle. And point at the top. Okay. Like a small little rectangle. I think I might see where this is going. Okay, good. Under the triangle, draw a wide, or just draw a bunch of tiny rectangles. Like a line of tiny, tiny squares and rectangles. So at this point, pick one of the circles, and under that circle, draw a triangle with a rounded bottom. I get it. We're good? I think so. Do you want to kind of guess what it is? Is it a crying robot? Yes! Except, uh, specifically, it is a robot that is learning emotions. Aww. Thank you for getting it that it's like a, a teardrop, because you... I feel like saying teardrop is describing exactly just, what it is. Yeah. Yay! Victory! Oh, this could be quite a good one. Start with two long parallel lines running vertically. How big? That sounds too big. <laughs> okay, on the top of the left line, draw a horizontal line that starts with the tip of the line and goes left horizontally the, the top of the left line yeah go out yeah pretty much that same line <laughs> curve it upwards curve it up yep how far about the same length you went out i guess okay now curve round <laughs> until you're retracing the line but further away from it until i'm retracing curve rounds until you're like drawing a line that's parallel to the l shape that comes off the top of the <laughs> i'm so <laughs> we've broken the game so i've got <laughs> Don't you mean two lines? And then from the top of the left line. <laughs> You've gone out, up, then curve round, and then go back down. Back down into the first line. Or the same starting point. <laughs> Draw an L. <laughs> curve it down into an L that matches the L you already drew. I've got an upside down L. <laughs> you shouldn't. <laughs> Should I go with the two lines again? Start with the two parallel lines. No, come up at the top of one line, draw a bubble writing L. Do you know what we do 3D writing? Like that? Yeah. Bubble L? Just yeah. draw but, a bubble. But, but don't join it up. Don't join it at the end bit. Oh! Like a phallic thing! Like a phallic <laughs> thing! I think I know which tweet you're doing. From the right line, keep drawing upwards for a little bit and then round it off and then go down. Straight up and then round and then down until it joins the end of the L shape. On the outside of this entire, which should be one <laughs> long joined line if it's done right, draw tiny little lines that intersect the main line. Lots and lots and lots and lots and lots of tiny lines. I'm hoping that you know what it is. I'm, I'm pretty sure <laughs> this was the thing that I was saying was too phallic to describe, so you did a good job! Oh. I don't remember the other half of it, okay. but I remember the first part and thinking, how am I going to describe this without making it look like this? Draw a penis. <laughs> Draw with, with another a penis attached to it. <laughs> with a penis sticking out. Of the penis. And then give it spikes. Spiky penis. <laughs> Underneath. Yeah, draw really long, thin oblongs. It's rounded. It's two parallel lines, but rounded at the ends. So like someone took a circle and stretched it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, in the middle of that shape, not touching the edges, just draw a zigzag. Okay, and now underneath the oblong, attached to the oblong, but underneath, draw a circle on the left and the right hand side. And then draw two smaller circles inside each bigger circle. And now just write the word radical underneath. <laughs> I'm just gonna put rad. <laughs> and you should be done. What is it? It's a cactus on a skateboard. Yay! Yay! Science. 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 We went to a science march today. It was it was cool. Like the weather was so nice. It was cool. And you met a person. Yeah. Shout out to person. Yeah, who shout met. out to the person who like actually said hi to me and stuff. That was fun. I had a nice time. Ten out of ten would march again. <laughs> yes. For science. <laughs> what if the whole thing was actually it's just good. a scientific experiment? <gasps> Prank channels, oh no. <laughs> <laughs> a little bit phallic, but that's okay. Stop stroking it. <laughs> <laughs> that was an accident. <laughs> bit weird. It kind of looks like a big prickly four. That's what I should have said. Yeah. Draw, draw a spiky four. Cactuses are hard to describe without saying like Draw a dick with arms. <laughs> <laughs> draw a dick flexing its muscles. Oh. <laughs> Alright, I think I know which one. I'm going to try this and we'll see if it works. Draw an S. You're gonna want to draw another S uh, right next, not right next to, but like almost right on top of 
that S. So it makes like a thickness. Did you join them or no? I did not. Okay, good. Join the bottom one so it's a point. Okay. And then the top, you're gonna want to make a big circle-ish or a wobbly circle. Make it lumpy. <laughs> <laughs> when I say a lumpy circle, I don't mean lumpy space princess circle. I just mean like wonky, like wiggle, like not a, not a full circle, just like a, a round shape. Go on. <laughs> okay, so in this in this circle, you're going to want to, uh, on the right hand side, put just two little lines. Like one above the other? Yeah, one above the other. <laughs> on the inside of the left. Because the two dashes... Okay, so you've got a circle, right? <laughs> Do I? Do you? I have a wonky circle as by okay, your instructions. On, it's a wonky... Okay, on the inside of the wonky circle... <laughs> Okay, I'm just gonna redraw what I've already drawn, but bigger because like yeah, it'll it might be a little bit easier. So big S, another S, and consummate V for the end. So at the other end at the top, you should have like a wonky circle, and then two lines not attached. Yeah, so you're gonna have a circle, and on the l- right hand side of the wonky circle, you're just gonna want to draw like two little dashes, and then on the left hand side inside the circle, somewhere in that, you're gonna want to draw two smaller circles. And then in each of those circles, you're going to want to (laughs) draw an American football shape, kind of like a lemon, but like standing upwards. The pointy bits are going to be on the top and bottom. I've done a version of that given the space I've given myself. Do you understand-ish what this is that you are looking at? Am I supposed to find out? I'm feeling, I think I know what it should be, but it's not. (laughs) So just carry on. This is where it gets weird. Yeah, this is where it this gets weird. <laughs> Do you know what a rhombus is? It's so, the one that isn't a trapezium. It's when it's when you take your square and oh, then you, you push it over. So that's a rhombus. So you want me to draw a rhombus. So do you see how you know how the S goes like that, mm-hmm. and then there's the curve at the bottom. Yeah. The top of the rhombus is going to be at the bottom of this S, so that's where it's gonna touch. Okay. And the rhombus is going to lean to the right. Okay, I think I've done that. Now, at the bottom corner of this rhombus, draw a circle, the pointy one, the uh. Acute one, so like on the far left. Okay, bottom left, draw a circle. Yes. Okay, so you you got this rhombus, right? Mm-hmm. Now, you sure do. You know, you got this rhombus, right? So you've got two obtuse angles. Connect those angles. Just draw a line across from one corner to one corner. Done. Now, make a line that is exactly the same as that, but you're gonna start it from the other pointy side of the rhombus at the top. Right. Okay. So you know how there's that pointy side? Just mm-hmm. make so it's gonna you're gonna have two parallel lines. Okay. Yeah, so make a parallel line, same length, same distance. The bottom of that line that you have, yep. you're gonna wanna make a circle that's the exact same size, but the the, the end of the line at the bottom mm-hmm. right hand side is going to be the very center of this new circle. Do does this shape making sense? Yeah, I think I've got it. Okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. I feel like we should name this line so that I don't lose place of him. This like parallel line that you just drew on Malcolm. the far. Okay, we'll name him Malcolm. So at the very top of Malcolm, draw a tiny line going up, and then draw an upside down triangle where the bottom point touches that top of that tiny line. Yeah. And I think that <laughs> you're done. I think I'm done too. You ready? Yes. It is a snake on a bike with an equal sign. <laughs> Am I right? <laughs> Am I right? If you know what snake on a bike equals, <laughs> bike was good. Bikes are hard to draw. Yeah, you did the bike very well. <laughs> Granted, they're a little small, but little. I think he's gonna get to where he's going. He's gonna get where he's. This one's my favorite. This it's one's brilliant. definitely my favorite. Uh, closing statements. Like like we're in court. I object. <laughs> the last thing that I usually do for my videos is give awesome points, and I usually okay. let my lovely guest choose. You all get pie amount of points. <laughs> Just pie. Three point one four one five nine infinite. You get pie. 
you get pie. We're making an awesome video with Pokemon things on our channel, so please go watch that because uh, I'm sure it was fantastic. Chloe does art things. And art her and videos comedy. are wonderful. Beautiful comedy. She's like the best Twitter ever. Please follow her on Twitter. <laughs> She's good at Twitter. Follow her. <laughs> talent. The talent of Chloe. Bye. <laughs> Chloe, Scarf Demon, go subscribe and stuff. Yay. You can click on her bubble, which is probably going to be about here. To put it over subscribe. my face. So Okay, I'll put it over your face. So it looks like it's just a circle with arms. Subscribe and stuff. Okay, we're going to go. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Bye. Happy birthday. Here's 20 small pencils. And a receipt for fairy lights. <laughs> <laughs> the end. Yeah. <laughs>